Okay, number two. So that's big news today. I do cover local news. So you got breaking news. I just fired the police chief. You see, John, I, uh, look, it, when I retired after 25 years, matter of fact, they give me a nice watch. I think it's in here, my retirement watch. As a matter of fact, that's it. <laughs> they give me a nice watch. It's, I don't know, maybe $300. It's not gold, but. That was my retirement watch. So, you know, you clean out your locker and stuff. <laughs> I'll give, uh, but John, are you mad at me personally, the chief? Chief, look, I have ministry you know now, and uh, I have a friend that lives, you know, my friend Don. And sometimes I just fellowship with the guys, so <laughs> if you want, I'll even invite you. If I do a little Bible study at Don's, Ben, you're going to be retired. You know, you can just retire. That's how they get fired. He's got his time. If you want to get in the Bible study with me and Don and all, you're welcome to do that. Don has a nice uh, area off the water, as you're well aware of. And uh, actually, they do baptisms. Brother Ray and them have done baptisms. I'd look, I'll show you my graciousness towards you. I'd even be willing to baptize you, Mike, Markle. Uh, the scripture is powerful. We are justified by faith, but we practice baptism. Uh, it's powerful. There'd be a lot of corruption, you know, having to come off uh, in the and that water. But I do believe in the power of God. So I'll just make that offer. This is number two for today. You know, scripture talks about a baptism of fire. Baptism of fire. I like John the Baptist. He's the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Herod, leadership. I have pastor friends that are friends with Mike Markle. I don't want to mention my good friend who's a friend with Mike Markle. Maybe they'll do the celebration, you know, big thing. God's concerned with all of this stuff, by the way. Scripture. Jesus Christ, the Word of God, which I've taught on uh, some posts coming up recently. He, he was the embodiment, the incarnation of the invisible God. And he was not just going around quoting the Old Testament prophecies. He was fulfilling them. the church as the people of God. The anointing I, I gave that verse from Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And what was in you go down? The Spirit of wisdom and understanding, counsel and might, justice, righteousness. So we as the people of God, we don't just preach Bible words. We're also here to live out the Word of God. And so you say, John, but you joke sometimes and all. I think most of you can perceive that a lot of this is very serious. And people have been intimidated in this city. Leadership in general, when you're running organizations, people are intimidated. When fire departments, we used to do bargaining for the Kingsville Fire Department, collective bargaining for your contract. And <laughs> but we... Oh, uh, People that were running for office, local commissioners and all. We had one guy used to run for many years in Arabia. But what they do is they try to get the backing. Uh, the police department, you know, backs mayor or whatever. Far to, and that's okay. That's, you know, lobbying. But there's an intimidation factor when community leaders, city managers and all, sometimes they're intimidated. When they, when they have to deal with something with a police chief or even a fire chief. There's that level of, you know, you want to be on the side of public service. And all public servants obviously are not criminal, corrupt, and all these things. But when you see a level of it, and I could have, I gave you a lot. So that's why, okay? So this is number two. 
I bat I'll bat Chief, I baptize you right now. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. We send that. And John. John the Baptist said, and then when Jesus comes, John says, I baptize you with water. He's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. I like that. <laughs>